Back to that top story. A Colorado Springs attorney thought he was using AI technology for good. Instead, as 13 Investigates has learned, that lawyer now claims he was deceived by chat GPT. Investigative reporter Quinn Ritzdorf is live in our newsroom tonight to explain this latest concern involving the AI chatbot. Quinn. Heather, Zach Crable is an attorney at Baker Law Group. He recently turned to chat GPT to help cite cases in court documents. But as you may have already guessed, that strategy backfired. Colorado Springs lawyer Zach Craybill was defending a client in a civil case involving a car payment contract last month. Court records reviewed by 13 Investigates reveal Craybill went on chat GPT to find cases to cite in his legal arguments. But when a judge asked about those cases, the attorney admitted in a court record that nearly every case chat GPT gave him was completely made up. The chatbot developed by OpenAI is trained to answer a prompt with a detailed response. But tech experts say the software can be deceptive. They seem so real and so good that we accept them as being true. What we're seeing like in this particular case is it took existing data, existing information, and skewed it. To save time, Crabble used ChatGPT to cite cases for a motion he was about to file. Ramsey Lama, a former Fremont County judge turned defense attorney, says case research is time intensive. What previously took the lawyer maybe 40 hours or 20 hours to do, maybe a tool like this could condense it to two hours or maybe 30 minutes. While it saved Crable time, nearly the dozens of cases were fake. The names of the cases actually exist, but the year and details are entirely made up. Because it's a creative platform, it can create things that don't really exist. It can create falseness. Without realizing the mistake, Crable filed the motion with the fake cases. On the day of the hearing, he realized what happened. In a text to a legal aide, he says he can't find any of the cited chat GPT cases. And neither can the judge, who denies the motion and threatens to file a complaint against Crabill. Somebody uh, used this software and it generated inaccurate information and they just submit it to the court. There's a danger right there on display. We asked Baker Law Firm if we could speak or get comment from Crable, but we never heard back. The owner of Baker Law Group says the use of chat GPT is irrelevant if it isn't accurate. Reporting live in the newsroom, Cornerstorf. 13 investigates. Yeah, concerning